Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV, I'm Brett. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day, and new comics are hitting the shelves all across the world. You can get them digitally, you can get them physically, you can get them like any way you want. It's new comic book day, which is pretty awesome. Uh, Boom Studios has hooked us up from, with one of the releases from Boombox. This is the first volume of Fence. It's by C.S. Passett and Joanna the Mad. Um, basically, Boom has been killing it lately when it comes to their new line of actually sports-related comics. Uh, it kind of mimics a lot of what's going on in manga. Manga's done an amazing job with all these sports-related uh, manga series. You can basically, if there's a sport out there, you can find a manga series for that. Uh, Boom is kind of giving it like a slight Western twist to that. We've got uh, Dodge City, which is Dodgeball. Absolutely fantastic. And we get this one, Fence, which is all about fencing. Now, I can't speak at all about uh, the accuracy as far as the comic when it comes to fencing. I don't know the sport, but it's enough that, to me, uh, someone who doesn't know feels passable. Uh, so basically, this is about Nicholas. He's uh, an illegitimate son of a retired fencing champ. Uh, he decides to go to this uh, prestigious school, King's Row. It's a private school, and he's thrown into this uh, cutthroat world of fencing. Um, there at the school is his main rival, uh, at least what he thinks is a rival, uh, named Seiji Karayama. Um, so deals with this rivalry, sports, there's romance, teenage romance, high school kind of click stuff. Uh, this is a fantastic. This first volume is $9.99. It is a price to own in that way. Take out their talking points. I, I I don't have to. You know what? I have to reread this, and the reason I don't have to reread this is because I read every single issue as they came out, as they come out, because it's that damn good. Um, this has issues one through four of the series. This is a fantastic, fantastic series. I absolutely love it. Um, this is, I think, one of the best that's Boom putting is putting out right now. Uh, and if you ask me, like, a comic to recommend, this would be up there. Uh, some other great Boom ones, Dodge City, I think, is fantastic. Mech uh, Cadet U is another example that Boom's killing it with some of these new series that they're putting out. Uh, again, I, I like, I've read some of those sports manga, and I really, really enjoy them. There's one about bicycling that I really, really, I couldn't tell you these guys' names, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a volleyball one that I really enjoyed. Uh, and it's cool, this is kind of a Western take on it. And this does it really well. I mean, it brings in, there's some, like, there's some, feels like some Western sensibilities about it. Uh, the private school kind of is, isn't quite as, um, I don't get kind of the same vibe of the school as I do in some of the Japanese manga. There's definitely more of a, a Western high school. Kids kind of, you know, picking at each other, hooking up. There's, uh, it's not quite as disciplined. Um, the other is some of the mentalities in it is very different. I've noticed some of the Japanese manga is very much about um, um, coming into kind of the, the collective and working as a team. While that's here in this comic and kind of seems to be the overall theme to it, or at least one of the themes to it, uh, there's also a lot of individualism. Um, you know, it's fencing, which while it's a team sport, it's also an individual sport. Um, and it's kind of interesting to see how things grow, how the characters grow, and how the team grows. And, yeah, like, this is, it's just, this is really good. It's really, really fantastic. I absolutely love it. I, 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 I recommend this with all my, like, absolutely 10 out of 10, fantastic. Um, can't, you know, I can't recommend this enough. If you like sports, if you kind of, like, if you want to see maybe some drama in there, some action, like rivalry, smack talking, all that, like this, this has got it all. Um, there's there's some really good stuff to it, and yeah, like it's it's good. Um, all right, so let's go with the art. I dig the art, the style. It's it's cool. Um, well, you can see some like manga influence to it some ways. It's it's not at all. It's very much still a uh, uh, Western comic. You know, it's. You know, they're not trying to do Western does manga. It's uh, it's very much still a manga comic. Uh, but still, like, something like that. Alea's thing really reminds me of, of the sports manga and manga in general. Um, so, yeah, I, I like it. I really, really like it. I think this is a fantastic trade. Um, the individual issues are amazing. I think a new issue came out last week. Um, you know, it's not too high. I think it's, like, issue 7 or 8 at, at right now. I think 8. So um, you can catch up pretty easily. As I said, it's $9.99, not that expensive at all uh, when it comes to trades. You're getting four issues in there. There's also some extra. We got some covers. Um, 
we go. We got some covers for you to check out. And some more covers for you to check out. Uh, and that's about it as far as the extras. I don't think you need much else. Uh, it's basically like if you enjoy that kind of... If you enjoy manga, you're probably going to enjoy this. If you enjoy sports manga, you absolutely will enjoy this. If you uh, like sports in general, you'll probably enjoy this. So if you like fencing, you'll, I think you'll really appreciate it unless it's completely off about fencing and that's going to drive you insane. I don't know. I don't fence. Uh, and then if you kind of like high school drama stuff, that's in there as well. And yeah, all the, the characters are great. There's some, there's some fantastic moments. This is, this is what I went into like thinking I'd enjoy it. I came out loving it. Like this is a solid read. It's entertaining every single month when it comes out. I'm excited for it. Uh, it's really a great direction for the publisher to go in. It's a great direction for Western comics to go in. I have a feeling uh, this is going to be part of the forefront of a new wave of these type of comics coming out as far as Western audiences. Uh, manga's already far, far ahead of it as far as genres and uh, as far as uh, when it comes to that. So uh, I think this is just going to be like, this is part of the, the first kind of wave of, of a whole new thing coming. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend it. I think it's really great. Go out and get it. If you haven't read any of the issues, uh, it's, it's well worth checking out. 9 and 9. Boom Box, Boom Studios, Fence Volume 1. Uh, you can go get this in comic book shops today. Go support your comic shop first and foremost. Uh, without comic shops, like stuff like this isn't getting published. Uh, so if you don't know if you shop near you, you've got a link beneath this video. You put in your zip code. It'll tell you if your shop's near you. No shop, no problem. Uh, we got some affiliate links. They are affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage of that. I think at least one of them, They'll probably this will probably be out next Tuesday. Uh, there tends to be a delay in bookstores for uh, comic trades. So, uh, yeah, so you can get it uh, then, but you can go get it today in comic book shops. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Uh, Boom Sodius obviously hooked us up with this. You know, there's a nice little review sticker, kind of tips you off on that one. Uh, we like to be transparent on that, so you can make a decision as to how much you, you think, you know, what this review is. Uh, so thank you, Boom. Thank you for watching. As always, we really appreciate it. Now, if you're into comics, if you're into Boom, if you're into any of their wonderful comics that they've been putting out, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Till next time, as always, on guard and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.